Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bringing you guys another NHL 13 video, and this video, I, this is so important, I want to talk about this for the longest time, just haven't got around to it, I want to talk about the community, the NHL 13 community, that is right, um, there's so many good things about this community, I love this community to death, I just don't know where to start, but um, first off, uh, what I want to talk about is um, how I got started, um, who inspired me to make videos, and who were like the original people um, to actually like found this community, and like kind uh, Kind of give everyone uh, motivation to start making videos. Um, so uh, I used to be a, a, a Call of Duty commentator. Um, I'd say probably last summer that's when I quit, and it really wasn't going too well for me. I had roughly about 200 subs, so um, it was a decent amount. But I'm not gonna get into that. But I quit. Um, I had no motivation to make videos whatsoever. It's just way too competitive, and I was not enjoying it. Um, but anyways. Um, I started watching a lot of NHL videos. I watched them before, don't get me wrong. But um, since I've uh, heard all the hype about NHL 13, I just started to watch, watch a lot more NHL videos. Um, I started obviously watching QBC, Nasher, all the original guys. Um, Halo Diego uh, with his NHL 13 montage. That just blew me away. The first uh, montage that's on his channel. Uh, go on his channel, that montage playing. That just When that first came out, that was such a good montage. It still is, don't get me wrong. But um, it was amazing at the time. I loved it to death. But like all these little things with the community that just inspired me to start making videos, um, it really does pay off. Cause like obviously you know Nasher sixty one, Dan Man, TBC are like the godfathers of the NHL community, and they've inspired so many people to start making videos. And now um, the fact that I've started, I've worked my way up, and now that I'm inspiring people to make videos, it's um, like honestly, it's crazy. I know it's only YouTube. It sounds kind of weird. But um, it's just amazing what you can do. Like, I honestly uh, thought of just quitting altogether. I was so done with YouTube. Like, all the time and effort. I would only get, like, 50 views out of it. Um, that's maybe a lot for a lot of people. I'm not just saying. But, like, the time I put into it, um, it just wasn't paying off for me. And I was really uh, kind, of, uh, kind of getting... Uh, not motivated to make my videos anymore. And just quitting altogether. I was about to sell all my stuff in, uh, um, in the summer when I started quitting. But, um... Anyways, I'm not going to get into that anymore. Um, but when NHL 13 came around, I was like, man, I love hockey so much. Why don't I just start up making NHL videos? And um, it just hit me right there. Uh, B-Synced, me and him started at the same time. He, he even inspired me to get into it too. Um, he, I'm like, you know what, man? I don't know. This is going to take up so much time. Like, I really just want to focus on school, which I still do. But I have the time to make these videos, and um, which I'll cover. In a, that, that brings up another topic I'll cover soon. But um, he inspired me to start making. He's like, come on, man. Just do it. Uh, you really like it, obviously. So why not do it? And um, I guarantee you, you'll miss it. You won't, you'll want to come back and you'll just waste a whole bunch of money and time. And I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And um, the first video I put out, I got such a great response from it. Like, I don't even know where all the subs came from. I posted my first hot video and um, it's unbelievable. Like, I got so much support. This community gives great support. I love it so much. I love it to death. I, I wouldn't change it for any other community. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, like I got so much support. I was like, where are all these subscribers coming from? Like, I got such a good fan base from then on. Um, and my HUD series got really um, popular. And that's uh, basically how I got my name. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, I was considering quitting. And now I have like almost a 3K subs. This is unbelievable. But um, that's how I started. Enough of that. But um, back onto the community itself. Like, it's such a good community. Um, I talked to a lot of people like Nasher61, uh, Dikasaurus Rex, CHF11, uh, Bat Grenade one all these different guys. Uh, Halo Diego, Bones on Demand. I can go on and on, but I'm um, sorry if I miss out names. I talked to a whole bunch of people. I just cannot remember off the top of my head. But um, there's a lot of people out there, and um, it's just amazing to see how many new faces from the NHL um, when the NHL 13 game came out. Uh, it's good to see that it's not only me, but uh, so many other people have like progressed um, from where I came from. So, uh, such as Dikasaurus Rex, I, he probably uh, has done NHL 12 videos. I'm not quite sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, like Dikasaurus Rex, all these guys, right? And um, it's just unbelievable where it, uh, where we're at right now. It's it's crazy. Like I love this community. Uh, so many um, younger people uh, starting it. I really like to see that and uh, people really putting in a lot of work for these montages and stuff like that. So it's a really uh, dedicated community and I just love how people interact. For the most part, there's no hate. That's another thing I want to uh, cover. Uh, the hate, but recently there has been a lot of hate. I'm not gonna lie. But um, when I started, um, I haven't been in the community for that long. I'd probably say. Uh, just over half a year, 
But um, there is no hate for me. I don't know why. Like I literally got uh, little to no hate, uh, which is a good thing. But a lot of other people really do, and it's unfortunate to see. It really pisses me off, and I'm not afraid to say it. Um, I'm not gonna mention any names, but I do see comments on videos that really do piss me off because you don't know. Like I see all these hateful videos. This video fucking sucks, man. Your voice is so fucking high. Why don't you just fucking give up? Unbelievable, man. It is disgusting seeing these comments. It is. Oh, man, it, it drives me nuts. I hate seeing it. Um, they're more successful than you, first off. And second off, if you're going to hate a video and dislike it, give the person some feedback. Because you're obviously a subscriber. You're taking your time to go on the video and watch it. I don't know if you're just there to uh, hate or whatever. But for the most part, you're on most of their videos watching them. And just leaving all this unnecessary, irrelevant hate. Like, oh, my God, you're such a fag, man. Why would you do this or that? It's like... Why? Just why? Like, uh, like I can see constructive criticism, but like downright criticism that comes down to the fact of like making fun of someone's appearance, voice, or something like that. Why, man? Like, it's just I cannot comprehend it. Like, people must live a really sad life, or they may experience troubles. I don't know what it is, but leave your hate off of people's videos if you're watching it right now. It is so unnecessary, and people are like, why'd you block me? Why'd you block me? Why the unnecessary hate? And for the most part, it's irrelevant. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with the video. It's just, you're making yourself look like a fool. That's my take on hate. I hate seeing it, but it does happen and it'll never stop. But let's face it. So I might as well just stop rambling on right now. But um, there is a fair amount of hate that goes on on other people's channels. Um, it's just, like I said, I don't like to see it. But um, it, there has been a lot of it lately. Uh, like I said, in the earlier stages of my YouTube career, I guess you could say, quote unquote, um, there wasn't a lot, but now I just don't know why. Like, I've seen all this drama on YouTube. I'm not naming any names. I don't want to start anything. Um, that's probably, like, my number one priority is to not start anything. But there has been dr unnecessary drama over what? This is video games, guys. This is us just talking about hockey. We're expressing what we like, what we love. Um, this is hockey. Like, who cares? Like, we talk about hockey. We're obviously playing the video game, but we all love hockey. Let's face it. But... I just don't know why it can just stay like that. I don't know. Like, if you don't like someone's videos, just don't go on them. If you like, like, if you don't like a certain video someone puts out, maybe just give them constructive criticism so they can work off of and not just uh, beat them down to the point where they want to fucking quit. Oh, it's just so annoying, man. Um, I'm probably rambling on too much, but for the most part, the community is amazing. But like I said, the hate, it just, uh, you hate seeing it. Um, but there's a lot less hate in this community as opposed to like the Call of Duty community and stuff like that. But um, like I said, it's an amazing community. It's growing really fast. Uh, from when I lost uh, last seen it, like in the NHL 12, I seen like Trevdo, uh, 2BC, Nasher, all those guys, Tactics HD, like all these different guys. But now there's so many new faces, and I love it. I love how it's growing. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's gonna be uh, as big as the or the Call of Duty community. But um, it is getting there. It's getting pretty big, guys. And it's a, really, uh, it's a good privilege to be a part of. But like I said, there's way more positives that outrule these negatives. And uh, let's talk about some more positive things. And um, on note, if I sound a little different, if I sound a little bit more serious, you won't see me like this in other videos. I'll be a lot more upbeat. Um, you could probably even say I'm upbeat right now. But like, I just want to take this a little more seriously because this is where... I spend a lot of my time on, um, well, I wouldn't say uh, most of it or anything like that, but I spend a fair amount on this, and I thought I'd cover it, and uh, try to act as professional as possible, so, um, but anyways, more positive things, like positive people, Decasaurus Rex, for instance, this guy uh, sets together an all-star game where YouTubers can participate in a bunch of, like, games and have a bunch of fun, like, small little stuff like this, uh, really does, like, bond together community, and, um, series like Shout Out Sundays, where it showcases smaller channels, um, like, just, that's an amazing idea, like, um, I know so many other people want to start, people contact me, which I'll get into later, but, um, people contact, uh, bigger YouTubers for help and stuff like that, and he does, he helps people, like, that's just it, um, he gives them a base they can work off of and get, uh, get them started with their YouTube career, and actually give them a fan base, this is what I like to see, so, um, and actually showcase, uh, their highlights of their channels, what they do, and stuff like that, it's an amazing series, I recommend checking it out if you haven't already, but you guys probably have, but just small things like that, what people do for this community, it truly is amazing, like, OTP lobbies, um, a lot of people do, myself, Bones, uh, CHF, like, all these guys, I'm probably, um, 
listing not too many, but I can't think off the top of my head. But there's so many people out there that just could uh, chip in for the community. And it's a really nice thing to see. And one more thing I really want to talk about before we get into more things is how hard we actually work for you guys. And the fact that we're trying to entertain you and we don't want to receive hate. That's probably like the number one priority. We don't want hate. We obviously want to entertain you guys and keep you guys on our channels uh, for future videos to come. But um, another thing is, do you guys realize how hard we actually work for you guys? Um, I wouldn't say it's like an outstanding amount, like 20 hours, 10 hours, or something like that. But we pick up a fair amount of time of our lives to make these videos for you guys. And um, for the most part, people do enjoy it. Myself, I love doing it. Um, the, every time I push in a video, I love to do it. It's not that I force myself. It's because I want to do it and that I feel the need to put it out or I want to get something off my mind or something like that. But I know people that feel the need to, oh, I got to upload daily. I have to do it. Like, take a day off or two. Please, like, if you feel the need that you have to put out a video, it's it's not the right thing to do. It really isn't because that's a burden on yourself and on other people because it won't. It may not always be the greatest quality too. So it's always nice to have a day off and to think of some more ideas to put towards a better quality video for tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, we do um, put a lot of hard work into these videos, guys. Like montages, that's another thing. I see some hate on these montages. Montages take up a lot of work. Even though I haven't worked on a montage, I know how much work does go into them. Um, it's unbelievable. Like It could probably take up to a month, maybe three weeks. I'm not quite sure. I've never made it, like I said. It takes up a lot of time, though. So let's just say a month, a really good montage. Um I'll, like, say the montage maker, oh, okay, I'll put 10 minutes aside, 15 minutes aside each night uh, to make this montage, and it ends up uh, totaling to a month. That's a lot of time, guys. Like, really, just take that in. And the fact that people just say, oh, this sucks, this sucks, it takes one second for them to say that and uh, feel good about themselves. But, like, you realize how hard this person worked to try to entertain you, but it didn't work. Maybe put some constructive criticism because you don't realize that maybe they'll make the same mistake as last time. And it's not helping anyone. Maybe but yourself that you feel good about, um, I guess, ranting on other people. But for the YouTube maker, like, you, no respect, really. No one's learned that. Like, it seems so, like, uncommon nowadays. Respect, man. Like, I don't understand it, but... Um, I, it's unbelievable, but I have so much respect for the montage makers and stuff like that. So if someone's like, go check out my montage. I will for sure. Like it, I understand how much work it takes to make these videos, these montages and stuff like that. Um, that's why I try to help out smaller channels. Like I'm getting messages saying you inspired me to make videos and stuff like that. Like, I never think I'd be in this position. I'm not acting like it's a huge role. But, I mean, it's unbelievable, though, that people are actually coming to you, asking you for advice and stuff like that. You don't want to give them the wrong advice. And it, t it does take up a lot of time, too. Like, um, not even making the videos, responding comments, stuff like that. Uh, personal stuff. Because people do ask me about personal life questions. Um, I'm not going to name any names or anything like that. But um, I really do like answering them. I love helping people out. Um, so if you guys are like troubled with anything or anything like that, I, I'd be more than glad to talk to you guys, YouTube wise, life wise, whatever. Um, I love talking to my subs, like I'm loyal to my subs. I'm pretty sure everyone else is too. So um, if you want to talk to someone, talk to one, any one of the YouTubes, I'm pretty sure most of them will help you out. Um, but there is a lot of comments, I, I gotta admit. But like I said, like I can't believe people are actually coming to me for all this advice. Like younger kids want to start seeking for advice, all this stuff, right? Um, this community's treating me amazing. I can't believe it. Um, just like playing with my subs, all this stuff. Like you guys are amazing. It's unbelievable. I love this community, man. I can't stress it enough. It's honestly amazing. You do not realize how good this community is, but, um, I'm getting off topic right now, but, uh, all the younger kids, if you really want to make YouTube videos and it's something you really like wanted to do. Um, because I've watched, um, YouTube videos before. I'm like, oh, I really want to do this so bad, but all this effort, all this money I got to put into it. Right. And the fact that people might not even like them, go for it. I'm telling you, go for it because that was me at one point, but now look at, I'm not trying to say I'm cocky or anything, but look at the position I'm in now. Like now I'm kind of like a role model to people. Um, but as cocky as it sounds, it's kind of true. Um, so I just love helping out people though. Um, but like I said, if you have the idea that you want to make these videos, go for it. Please do. That's how the community grows. It's how we grow as a whole. And it's just unbelievable. Like all these people just starting up. I love it. So, um, 
if you've ever, like, if, because that was me in one position, like I said, I haven't really covered on it, but, like, for a year, I've been watching YouTube videos, I really want to do this, I've been saying that to myself for a year, and I finally did it, it didn't turn out so good, and I gave myself a second chance, and like I said, it works out, you just put in a lot of hard time and work, be creative, and just think of stuff that people haven't done before, um, try to do different things, uh, like I said, be original, um, like, like I said, I'm known for my enthusiasm and my voice. That's how I get a lot of subscribers. Um, like I said, like, I haven't seen so many people as enthusiastic as me. Um, that's what I try to do. Like, I try to be, try to give a name for myself. Like, like do that, please, guys. Um, upload what you want, not what people want, like, all the time. Like, obviously, um, you can leave up to your subscribers to vote on something like I've done in the past. Like, those are two things I like to do, and I'll leave up to my subscribers to vote. And um, it doesn't matter the outcome because you'll love to do it anyways. But if you force yourself to do like a game like Minecraft or something like that that you don't really like to play. And you just want to do it for the subscribers. That's a good thing for the subscribers. But you're taking a toll for yourself. Like you're not, um, you're putting all this time into it and you're not really liking it. So um, just put what you want out. Um, this is to anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel. Just do it. Um, that's another thing about the capture card I want to cover really quickly. Um, this is kind of veering off the NHL community just a tad, but I want to talk about it because a lot of people ask me about capture cards. Don't get a Dazzle or anything. <laughs> no, don't get a Dazzle, guys. If you want to do YouTube, you got to be fully committed. Um, I wouldn't say like a full out, like, every, like a video every day, but like if you want to do well in YouTube, you're going to have to purchase a good capture card. So like an Elgato, I've heard good things about, and the PVR and stuff, just don't buy shitty capture cards. <laughs> That's one thing I really want to stress and get off my mind right now. But all in all, this community is amazing. Um, this the commentary has probably been the longest commentary on my channel. This is like a 20 minute commentary and it's coming to a close, guys. But all in all, these uh, people are amazing in this community. I love it to pieces. And like I said, if you want to start up a channel, guys, this is the community to go with. I love it. Um, I, like I said, I veered off kind of into the zombie community too. Um, that's something I've always liked to do. I never thought I should like start it. Um, people would hate on me for it, but I've been getting good responses. And there's the quit right there. But um, like I said, do what you want to do. I'm not going to be a full NHL uh, channel, but for 75% of the uh, time, I guess, 80%. Um, I'm going to be doing NHL 13 videos because that's what I mostly like doing. But like I said, you can veer off into other things and try different things and uh, people won't get mad at you. So um, that's what I like for the most part for this community. People are uh, supportive for the most part, but the recent drama does bring it down a tad. But just try to, like, that's another thing. Hate really quick. This is the last thing, last thing I'm going to say. Just forget about it. Don't even take, don't even acknowledge the hater. Block him, remove the comment. Don't even acknowledge him. Or just say some smart aleck remark because that's the best way to treat hate. And um, thank God that, knock on wood, that I won't get any more hate. But um, whenever I do it, I honestly don't even care. Like, I'll just do it like that. I'll just remove the comment, block the user, say some smart ass remark. And it pisses them off because it sees you in a better position as them, uh, like sub count wise, view wise. And um, they honestly don't even care. So, like, at the end of the day, may uh, make themselves feel better about themselves. But you're in a better position as them, and it won't wear off on you. You just got to learn how to uh, transfer the hate into positive energy. It kind of sounds weird, but it works for me. But anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a really long video, guys. And um, I do apologize for this really long commentary. Uh, but really, I hope I did change the minds of a lot of people. And uh, it was a more serious one than uh, other commentaries on my channel. But um, I just thought the need to put this one out. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you stayed to, uh, to this part, I can understand why you've left already. But um, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.